back to another AC on the Go video. We are going on a Sunday drive today and we are starting at our house. So let's go. So our Sunday travels, uh, Sunday drive I guess, has taken us to Uno's Pizzeria and Grill. So it looks like our Sunday travels has turned into a pepperoni pizza review. Let's go check out Uno's. Well, as you can see, they have a Uno is a chain place, 1943, which is um, about Independence Day around there. What? So, uh, Independence Day? So uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe for this old place. It's about as old as my mother. Wow. Here is the menu at Uno's Pizzeria and Grill. It is uh, Chicago style, but they also have thin crust that has a deep dish attitude. Oh. So they have drinks. The best part. They do have some appetizers. Uh, we didn't get an appetizer this time, but those uh, steak and cheese spring rolls sound amazing. And we also saw this uh, pizza skin. Here's a picture of it. It's like a deep dish pizza. It's like a uh, potato pizza. It's a potato skin. But Cheese pizza. and bacon. It's a potato skin, but a pizza. It's not that hard. It's in the name. And they also have some wings. It's a deep dish pizza with a potato. <laughs> Salads. So then they have their deep dish pizzas come in three different sizes depending on how big your party is. And then they have just some standard um, items that they have right here. So we got two different pizzas. We got a small numero. Do we have to determine if it was numero or numero? Yes, it's numero. Numero uno. We got a individual size of that. You can add a soup or salad to your meal. And then here are their uh, regular thin crust pizzas. We of course got the pepperoni pizza. We're trying that out. But they also have a couple different other uh, pizza options. Right. And for those of you looking for a gluten-free option, they have a gluten-free crust, as well as a cauliflower crust. That's different. Would you like a balloon? Like a balloon animal, is that what you're saying? Yeah. There's a dog. <laughs> they also have some other items here. Steaks, seafood, pastas, fish. Ooh, that looks good. Crusted chicken parmesan. Which obviously, who's going to buy that at a pizza place? Well, it's pizza and grill. It's a pizza place. And then, of course, they have some, looks like some mammoth burgers. So they have some sandwiches and burgers. <laughs> and then some lunch specials. Oh, guys. I'm the best balloon specialist ever. What is that? Ooh. What is it? Oh. Um, also, I don't know what video it's going to go on, but I did just record him uh, going over the menu, so I don't know what video it's going to go on. Maybe the bloopers, maybe this video. And it was a behind the scenes clip. I recorded it on the, our other camera. We used the Canon 754. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, behind the scenes, go check that video out. No matter what video it is, does it look like I'm in a plastic factory? <laughs> Normal kids play on kids' menus. I'm playing with straw wrappers. I use all of our straw wrappers to make a big AC. I opened up all of our straw wrappers, all three straws, and I made an AC. Nice. That's all of them right there. Seeds are really hard to make with flat objects that don't bend. Did you get a big reveal? No. There is our thin crust pepperoni. And then the deep dish. Oh. 
That's my mother. The one that was born in 1943. There's another joke I made at the beginning of the video. That looks really good. I said, this this looks really good, too. Oh, it's good. I'll read a... Uh... Just eat it first. You don't have to rate it right away. I think the crust is really... Really dope. It tastes doughy, but it's crusty. <laughs> I think for I'd give this pizza a... Hold on, for a thin crust pizza, you're right, it is doughy. Which is weird, because it's not thick. I mean, I guess it's thicker than a normal thin crust, but... It's really cheesy. I like this. So on that pepperoni scale, if you wrote a 10 pepperoni scale, how many pepperonis would you rate the Uno pepperoni pizza? I'll give it a uh, 9 out of 10. Really? 9 out of 10? 8 and a half out of 10. Wow. Alright. I really like it. It tastes so good. It really tastes like... I feel like the past few pizzas I've had lately, haven't been good other than the Blue Moon Pizza video. Go check that out. Link in the description and in the corner because we rated that one a 10. But I feel like since the Donato's experience and all La Rosa's experience and all the other La Rosa's experiences, this is just so good. Because last thin crust I had that was in a box shape was Donato's. And so it's hard not to compare the two. And it's just, just so good. It is a lot better than that. I just got... The sauce goes perfectly with the everything on it. I would say if the you, sauce is so good. It has that twang and it has a sweetness. I would say if you like a pizza with very little sauce, I think this has little sauce on it. Like, I don't I don't think there's a lot of sauce on this pizza. Do you? No. I mean it's okay. It's good. It's really greasy too. And you said an a nine? Is that what you said? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I would I would say probably a little bit lower than that, honestly. I think it's good, but I wouldn't say an, an eight and a half or a nine. I would probably say maybe a six and a half, seven. All right, so we're switching gears and Carter's gonna give the deep dish a try. I'm not a big vegetable person, so. Flip it back. No, 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 no. why is it always me? <laughs> I was able to recover some of it. It was just mushrooms. Which if I'm you haven't seen Carter, throw his pizza in his lap or throw his pizza everywhere else. Go check out all the other pepperoni pizza reviews, videos, because Carter seems to lose his pizza in almost every video. We'll leave the links down in the description and up in the corner. All right, so how's the deep dish? Small one. Since I don't like a lot of vegetables, I would grade it a... Six out of 10. Yeah? So not quite as good as the thin crust. All right, so you're down to the crust. It kind of tastes like the biscuits you get in the can that you go, bang, 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 and then you open it. Yeah. It actually is that. <laughs> it's a really good family-friendly place. Um, a lot of, it's very lit up, so, um, and there's a hotel right beside it, so if you guys stay in a hotel in here in Blanchester. We're not in Blanchester, <laughs> we're in Westchester. Um, <laughs> you can come eat at Uno's Pizzeria. And then there's also a hotel right there, hotel right there, hotel right there, hotel right there, and hotel right there. I'm not even joking. <laughs> and there's an Ikea. Yes. So you can walk around for about seven hours and get nothing and then come to Uno's Pizza. What better way to finish your pizza than with a little dessert here at the Cone in Westchester? Phenomenal. Let's go check it's it out. It's a place called the Cone. They only sell cones here. They don't sell any ice cream, just cones. You just go and get cones? Homemade cones. They have different flavors, duh. Yeah, what kinds of flavors? Pumpkin for this season. Let me take a picture for my girlfriend. 
is one of the best ice cream places. As you can see, it's a massive ice cream cone at the top. It's really busy. Um, this is like, there's only a couple weekends left because they close for the winter time. So, this is the cone. Currently, if you're around the fall in this area in Westchester, these are their hours. I'll give you a little look at the menu. But it is a packed out place, as you can see. There's tons of people everywhere. And this is the menu. They actually do have some regular food items, as you can see there, but they have shakes and malts, floats. Sundays, parfaits, regular Sundays. They have things here called the Wizards, which are like obviously blizzards. It's what I get. It is so delicious. Right now they have a special going on where they have these chocolate bananas. I don't know what that is. But they're pumpkin wizards and pumpkin cheesecake wizards are currently what's going on. And they have pumpkin ice cream cones right now during the season. This orange vanilla is what they're known for. These soft serve. And then also these dips. I'm gonna lick this on camera. Go for it. Mom, I'm about to lick this ice cream. It's going to. It's for the, it's for the fans. For the fans. Yeah, yeah get probably worse kind of bacterial. It's savage. It's dirty. Savage, savage not average. Well, IBP, IBP licked throw up off the ground one time. That baby wants some. Look. <laughs> IBP licked throw up off the ground. Give me some ice cream, please. I know. Oh, well. That's a nice car. You missed it. You did not film it. You did. Carmen, are you listening for our number 301? Here's, our here's the cleanest spot. <laughs> I would do it if we had a thousand subscribers. Oh yeah. Well, if we hit seventy thousand subscribers in the next hour, I'll do it. Oh yeah. If you bring your little kids. They have a little kids area where you can pay money to ride on those little rides. All right. So here's what we got. What'd you get? Kit Kat Blizzard Wizard. Kit Kat Wizard Blizzard. Blizzard. Yeah. Kit Kat's one of your favorite candy bars. I did. I got the Butterfinger. It does have whipped cream on it, or you can get it without. You got yours without, right? And then I got mine with whipped cream. It's really good whipped cream. They also have a little arcade room back there and some tables inside that you can sit at, but obviously most of the area is just little picnic tables out here that you can eat at. Um, so good. Thank you guys for watching this AC on the Go video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. We had a great uh, pizza and a great ice cream. Uh, we would recommend both of them.